nanohub.org. You can follow along with this presentation using printed slides from the NanoHub. Visit www.nanohub.org and download the PDF file containing the slides for this presentation. Print them out and turn each page when you hear the following sound. Enjoy the show. So in this segment on open 1D systems, I'd like to talk a little bit about the generalization of what you've seen in the previous two presentations. It's a so-called transfer matrix approach, that that can be generalized. And I'd like to highlight some of the pretty neat things about it and also some of the pretty ugly things about it. So the idea is that for a variety of applications and intellectual exercises, you might deal with something like super lattices, where you can grow sheets uh, of, of material on top of each other and create a super lattice like this. Or you might have a resonant tunneling diode and you want to learn about transmission through these structures. And what you can do is that you can really conceptually very easily model this. In the previous two presentations, I showed you how you derive analytical expressions about it. And they're beautiful and you can get insight out of it. This transfer matrix is really conceptually very simple and very nice. You can do it on pencil and paper. And before we had computers, powerful computers, that was very, very important. But now if we don't want to do real structures, it turns out that this transfer matrix method has severe, severe numerical limitations. In fact, you can't really use it for real device simulation. So the principles we pursue here is that we treat each interface of this device or each inhomogeneity in this device that we want to consider as a little scattering matrix. But we don't treat it like a scattering matrix, we treat it with a transfer matrix. So what we have is um, input A2 on the right and output B2 on the right is related through a matrix from input on the left and the right. Uh, sorry, from the left, A and B. Okay? So it's a so-called transfer matrix, and that's what we just solved analytically for a single step or a single barrier case. So you can generalize this by cascading many of these transfer matrices to each other where you say, okay, my output on the right, AN and BN on the far right, are related through products of T and my input on the left. Okay? I mean, that's the generalization of what I had just shown you. So, what it does is at each of these interfaces, you match the wave function and the derivative of the wave function. And you can split a device in many such layers. For example, even a, uh, a barrier material like this, you might split into multiple little steps. And you say, well, I'm going to approximate these linear potentials by some small steps. That means if you have a device that is extended and you had potentials that are moving throughout the device, you need a lot of steps. Right? Because, you know, they, uh, effectively a Poisson equation is like a low pass filter. It varies smoothly. But it varies. Okay, so in this trans standard transfer matrix approach, what you end up doing is having to do a lot of slices. Okay, so we, we stepped earlier through this with a double, uh, with a double interface, so single, single barrier. We've seen the math in the previous presentation and how it can, how this matrix, this transfer matrix for a single barrier device, a uh, single barrier structure pretty much emerges automatically out of, out of this. Uh, on the first interface and now the second interface. And at the end you can say, well, let me generalize this where uh, I indeed have a transfer matrix for the whole system that is the product of the transfer matrices of the individual system. <laughs> 